Hey guys, this is WHTV Outdoors, and today I'm going to be talking about shaky head fishing. All a shaky head is, is a jig head that's very finesse. I like the ball head because it's very weedless and you get a lot of sensitivity about it. And uh, the 90 degree line tie right here is also key for hooking the fish in the roof of the mouth and still being weedless. This is a spot sticker, black nickel. I love spot stickers, jig heads. They also make a great finesse worm. As far as worms go, any finesse worms pretty good, but I like the zoom finesse worm the best. Trick worms are another alternative when you want a bigger approach. These are five inches long in green pumpkin and black flake color. Just a small little five inch worm. Great behind the shaky head. I also like the robo worm straight tails. These are really good and for a drop shot too. This color is Morning Dawn and this color won the Forest Wood Cup in 2010 on Lake Lanier by Kevin Hawk. As far as colors go, I like a more natural, darker color for winter fishing and for summer fishing. I like a color like this or a, a lime truce, chartreuse, bubblegum for summer, but this is a really great worm for any finesse fishing. For small ponds, I like the robo worm fat tail worm and these are four and a half inches long in ox blood in light red flake color. Yeah, a little shorter, pretty small, but a lot of the bass in the smaller ponds are also that way. And also the Hags Tornado, this is the F4 model, four inches long, watermelon red flake color. Had a lot of success on this in the small ponds this year. But really, you can shake your head anything you want. Um, I've heard of people doing tubes, grubs. But I also like to do some craws, bigger craws. This is a big boy bait summer craw. Pumpkin illusion color. This is four inch long. And a key for shaky head and craws is these antennas right here. These give it a lot of wiggle on the fall. But the claws also give it, you know, a crawfish appearance. And the way you want to fish a shaky head is you want to cast it out. I fish it in creek channels and docks. Really around any depth I've caught fish as shallow as 4 feet and as deep as like 40, 50. So you cast it out there and uh, you reel up the slack. Make sure it's always on the bottom and just slight jerks. And what's that doing? The head is on the bottom. And as you jerk, every little movement, the claws or the worm tail is going to pulsate through the water. And that head is going to pick up dirt, attracting the fish. And um, as, long, as far as head weights go, the one-fourth ounce is the heaviest I'll go and is good for deep water fishing, 30 plus feet. And also good for windy and current. Three sixteenth ounce, I, I always use spot stickers is uh, good for light wind and it just gives it a nice moderate fall, not too slow, not too fast. And this is a Spot Sticker Pro Series in one eighth of an ounce. This is good for um, spooky bass when they need a slower fall. And it's also good for shallow water. And even for uh, muck on the bottom like leaves or just heavy mud or a heavier weight would penetrate into that stuff. And it just get you hung up. The lighter weight stays on top and kicks it up also. It's just a good alternative. As far as rods go, I like a 6.6 six medium to medium heavy. And if you're going to be skipping docks, which is also a very effective technique for shaggy heading, I prefer a 6.1 to 6.3, still medium to medium heavy. And as far as reels go, I like a, a moderate to fast gear ratio nothing too slow just so you can reel up the slack fast for a line I like 8 to 12 pound fluorocarbon for clear 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 water and for um, anything else really I like 8 to 15 pound braid it is a very finesse technique you don't want to horse these fish in but always, if you're using braid, tie a fluorocarbon leader so you can get a nice cushion hook set. Braid has no stretch if you didn't already know that. 
So the fluorocarbon has low stretch. It's just if you have a big fish on and you set the hook, it gives you a little bit of a cushion so you don't yank the hook out of the fish's mouth. Um, I also want to thank all of you guys for watching these videos and all of my subscribers. I just recently got a thousand upload views in under two months. That's so amazing. I just want to thank all of you guys for watching. I ought to do some sort of a contest. I'll think about that. And I'm also very excited because I recently got a bass boat. It's a 2007 Nitro 482. I also had to pick up a hat to gear out for my new boat. Act like I'm sponsored hey guys, and all that. one on the spot sticker. 316th ounce black nickel jig head and a green pumpkin orange zoom finesse worm. Second one of the day, I caught a monster pre-spawner on a Lucky Craft Pointer 100 earlier. I definitely will post a video of that. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them in the box below.